Hey guys, Sprayambra here, and welcome to episode 54? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is getting so far up there, and it's doing so many in a row, it's just hard to remember. But anyways, 54 of our, uh, I think, of our Europa Universalis 4 Let's Play as France. And, uh, wow. Uh, France is doing very well, and, and we're about to do, like, one million times better right now, because uh, we're in a war right now to take the Russian throne. Now, I'm not sure what actually happens, because Austria also is in this war because they're in the personal union underneath of Russia. So if we take Russian throne, does that mean we get both? I, I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not going to try to say. But uh, I think I think that's what happens. Anyways, uh, let's get this force march off. We don't need them to be sitting there without getting any morale. Um, and we've already built, we're building another army, yet another army to come and help uh, win, win this war. We're doing very well, actually. It's just that really the only thing that's holding us back is this controlling Muscova, getting the war goal. And uh, with Poland coming shortly, unseaging their provinces, being um, Poland, everybody's pretty high war enthusiasm, except for like Austria's like, no, please stop this war. But they can't do anything about it because they're Russia's bitch already. But whatever, we're gonna we're gonna wreck them anyways. Um, Hungary's already cause Hungary's getting sieged by rebels. Hmm. We might want to actually help them with that. Uh, once this army gets full, we'll probably send them through and take out those rebels, as well as these Austrians that think they got the bright idea and trying to siege. Is Austria fighting in any other wars? Oh, they're actually fighting against Aragon, too. Wow. They're actually winning the, that one. But, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> we're we're going to put an end to their winning of anything for the rest of the game, because they're just going to be winning stuff for us now. Haha. <laughs> All right. Um, we have three diplomats free, so I feel like we should do something with them, but I don't even know what to do. Uh... Uh, <laughs> Hungary, do you want more relation or something? I don't know. Um, maybe Wurzburg? I think Brunswick is like the only one that's even sort of slightly close. Maybe Pomerania. Livethonian order? Oh, they're actually really close to being... We could vassalize them if they weren't, um, if they weren't a different religion. Let's, uh, let's improve relation with them. I don't know why. Just because. Sweden and Norway, are they in war with us? No, they're at war with the other one. Oh, Norway's at war with us, but then Sweden's in the war with the other war. We'll improve relation up there as well. Then we have one more diplomat. We'll save him so that I can just keep checking on the Muscovy. Or fighting against Russia. Alright, so we're going to get a bunch of... Uh, we're getting our morale back. I was actually worried about those troops because their morale was so low, but then I realized we just fought that huge battle at the end of that last episode. So that's why that was like that. So we got our 25,000 troops that we're going to be in moving in to refresh our guys over there on the the uh, far, far, far eastern front. And uh, we will march them through there to there, and then uh, then finally we'll move them here. Hopefully they'll catch that Austrian army. They might move, but I, don't, I know the Hungarian peasants won't move anytime soon. Uh... Oh, it looks like uh, somebody's coming back to fight them anyway. Uh, we can get more stability, which we already have, and or we could get this. Uh, 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 it's the same thing, just I guess we'll get the one prestige. I don't know. France is getting such nice things now. Ooh, we're up to 7% here. How's our... Are we taking any massive attrition anywhere? No, 2% is the normal, because they got that defensive crap. And the winter is setting in, which is bad. Good, the natives are losing ferocity. That's... I don't even care. Like, natives, you can be as ferocious as you want. Alright, good. We got Austria out of there. Oh no, our truces are going to expire. Whatever shall we do? <sighs> yes, yes, yes. But once once we get Russia and maybe Austria, I don't know how that works, uh, all shall be ours. There will be nothing that is untakeable, uh, that shall be untaken by France. Oh, this was the day I can't, you know, one day a long time ago I thought, hey, wouldn't it be a good idea to have a royal marriage with uh, Russia? Uh, lose one prestige. Eh, fine, whatever. We'll get the, the fort defensiveness. Um, Chimichanga had some re 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 rebels, but I put them down. Okay. We're actually getting really fast uh, siege going on here. They must not have a high fort level or something. Yeah, it's like a higher fort level over there. Alright, let's, uh, if it moves, tax it, and uh, let's Diplotech cost. Because we're kind of really far behind in Diplotech, or well, not really far behind. 
we're behind-ish on Diplotech because we always have like five million. We always have like five bazillion of our allies. Oh, oh, look, those Polish patriots are going to help them siege. I was wondering why they were red to us, but it's just because they're Polish patriots. Um, so yeah, for Croatia and Hungary are going to come back and deal here. Uh, we need to be cautious of the Russian re. Eh, not really actually, because they only have sixty thousand. Like, they only have like 100,000 troops, maybe maximum, and here we have like more than 100,000. Okay, so now basically we just gotta siege them up. And uh, then, of course, beat off the uh, their inevitable return. Let's just go over to Twiver. Looks like we're taking some attrition, which is kind of annoying, but that that's about it. Looks, yeah, we left. It's because of the stupid uh, Polish army that's trying to come with us. Go away, Poland! Damn you, Poland! Leave me alone! I didn't need you! I don't know why the frame rate's being like this. I'm going down to nine frame rates? What the hell? Uh, there it goes. Just needed to close that window. For some reason, that window was really lagging it. Oh well. Oh, we've got a two two colonists free. That's not good. Now I need to find something to do with them. Ugh. Well, at least this one's done. Chimichanga, did you finish too? No, didn't think so. Oh, this one's the uh, the Mississippi Estuary, so we get the trade power bonus. Oh, and good, we can actually seal off the, uh, the entirety here. Uh, are we going to kill the natives now? Let's just split up into two groups, and then, yeah, that should be perfect. Good. Proud of you, Netherlands. Keep on keeping on. Yeah, these, these guys keep scaring me, but there's nothing to fear. We're going to split in half, go back and kill these stupid Norwegians. And then these guys, I guess, we're going to split in half and kill those Norwegians as well. Uh, good, we're at 56% with Muscovy. Or Muscova. I keep... Muscovy's the capital, or the, the old thing that was before Russia. Keep confusing it with with Muscova. Is this... What city is Muscova? Is it like an actual... Um, no, it's just Muscova is the city. Uh, isn't this... Where's Mos... Isn't that turned into Moscow? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I know very little of... Uh, apparently, I know very little about this uh, sort of geography thing. Um... Does Bohemia want to get out of this? Yes, they do. Send demand. All right. Yes, Bohemia. Yeah, Bohemia, you can go. Do you want to give me money? No, that's okay. Yeah, white peace with you, Bohemia. That'll get. Uh, what about Denmark? Oh, we have no diplomats to send. Okay, that's fine. All right. So Bohemia has accepted white peace, meaning hopefully that does not mean that we can't move back through the HRE. But I'm pretty sure it actually does. Damn it. Oh well. We'll just have to ferry our troops around. Or actually, Austria is still in the war. Till the end of the war. So we'll be fine. Uh, so I guess we need to spread out here and just start keep keep sieging. And uh, of course, Poland's going to start unseaging. Why is... Oh, Hungary's fighting with their... God, Hungary, you're so dumb. Let's grab this guy here. We're going to get this reinforced speed guy. Because I want to be able to reinforce fast. Military access from Bohemia. Sure, then right after we get out of a war. Fine. Our diplomat has arrived back, so let's get a... Oh, Poland has agreed to peace. Okay, good for you, Poland. I don't really care. As long as... Can we move back through your lands, please, dear God? Okay, thank God. All right. That's fine. Got way too much attrition going on over here. Spreading out, apparently, we need to do. And uh, so, who else can we peace out here then? Uh, Byzantium definitely wants to peace out, right? No, <laughs> of course not. They're only the little tiny one province thing. Denmark does not want to peace yet. What about Norway? We've been we've been sort of throwing them around. They still don't want to peace out though. Oh well. Too bad Poland, Poland left. Kind of sucks. But uh, I mean, I don't think Russia has any sort of. Defense mechanism, yeah, they're they're pretty much finished. If we just siege them up really fast and get all eighty-four percent as quickly as we can, we should be good. I mean, with this amount of forces, I mean, what are they gonna do? What's our? F we got some more mercenaries that we could perhaps get. Yeah, let's grab some mercenaries here, because apparently we can walk through Poland. So we got one guy here. Oh, that's probably from a <laughs> from Magdenburg. Ah, Magdenburg left me some units. Thank you, Magdenburg. Alright. Come on, build me that. Build mercenaries. And, uh. Mercenaries, 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 mercenaries. 
Siege of Vladimir is over. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to grab our fleet here and just move them up into... Uh, oh, Sweden. Sweden took Neva. Oh, okay, so never mind. We don't really can't, can't really blockade the, the uh, enemies that much anyways. And uh, it's probably helping us. Yeah, the, all those blockades are helping a lot. All right, good. We won Vladimir, so we'll just move up here. Keep on sieging. Make sure we're not taking an inordinate, inordinate, inordinate amount of of uh, attrition. All right, we'll move these guys into Muscova just to you know. Then we'll disperse them where we see fit. Uh, I wonder what where their Austria. Where's Aust What's Austria doing over there? Uh, oh, we can do another military idea. Sure, let's get leader shock increase. Sounds good to me. Um. Do we have all our leaders actually doing stuff? That's the question. Because they, since, yeah, we have two leaders that aren't doing anything. So let's, uh, let's break off a siege. And instead of leaving the siege, we're going to take the siege and uh, actually give them a leader. Here in the middle. All right, you're going to get this guy. And you're going to go south here. And then you're going to get the other guy, the... And you're going to go north here. Is this the guy already? No. Good. Alright, so... Russia, 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 you're going down! Sieges are going... Novgorod, that'll be a good siege. It's like a pretty important province, I guess. You have Sarl's over, good. Um, I'm wondering where their, their army is not being, like, there <laughs> is uh, kind of scaring me. However, I don't think I have much to be scared of, because I think I have... I'm pretty sure, yeah, since Poland left, we still have 20,000 that are probably milling about over here. Or coming along. And the Hungary and them can just keep on fighting over here, I guess. Against Austria, I don't don't really think they have anything really to scare us with anymore. It's kind of annoying, though, because we're going to have to run all the way around here to get to Austria, just like olden times. All right. And I can't believe Poland pieced out so quickly. They could have waited so much longer and been so much better. All right, let's uh, instead of dropping a siege, we're just going to split in half and send half to go and mess with them. Oh, we're going to lose a stability for blaming the king. It's okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, oh, good, we got our leaders all, all you know, partitioned out. Uh, this guy's going to where? Kasminov. Here. Oh, so he's gonna. He wants to. Uh, he wants to take some. He wants to do a river crossing apparently to get us. Siege of Tever is over. All right. We're gonna come. Uh, go siege over here because I. I don't want to be too split up from my enemy or from my allies. That we. Uh, you know, leave ourselves vulnerable, and we might want to. Oh no! Damn it! Yeah, keep sieging. You guys keep sieging too. Uh. Oh, so there's actually no, um, there is no crossing, but that's fine. Looks like they suck anyway. They already lost the battle, idiots. They didn't even, we didn't even have more troops than them and they lost the battle. I guess we just, we didn't even have a leader and they lost the battle. Oh my god. They suck so bad. Alright, you, instead of going there, you're gonna go a little higher. Alright, we won. You know what's funny is we're attacking Russia in winter and it's like not even a big deal. <laughs> We don't have to listen. <laughs> and I'm like, I like how this stupid Russian army came and tried to attack me by itself. It's like, I have a huge amount of army, don't I? But I should only bring, like, the minimum, right? Actually, we're just going to merge our forces here. We're going to want to try to engage them. Yeah, 50,000, then this, these guys coming in. Should be plenty. Let's merge these guys and get going in there. Oh, are you serious? We got a freaking river crossing? Okay, well, I hope we at least got a general in here. Yes, we do. We got our four shock guy. Okay. Let's, let's just move in our extra troops here just for the hell of it. Uh, actually, it doesn't look like we're going to need them. And apparently we've already routed some of their troops. You guys can just hang out there and keep up the siege. Won another battle in Novgorod. 
gonna merge to split. Alright, and we're just gonna split up up here. Just kind of try to keep our men together. Oh good, we already had some men there, nice. Alright, you guys can move down then. How go the sieges, boys? Good, good. We're at 50% war score with them. Denmark, you would like peace yet? No. I hope I never drank any. I like how we lose prestige, but we're just gonna get as, all that prestige right back in like two seconds when we fight one battle. Alright. It's really annoying how Russia is laid out. I wish I could have just, you know, sort of started from one side and moved over, right? Like, no. No, it's not gonna let me do that. It's gonna make me like siege all in like random order. Uh, oh, hello. Um, don't think I want to fight you here. So what day are you going to get there? May 6th. All right, so let me see if I can bust my army back out of here before then. April 20, April, May. Oh, good, we can actually run away first. Sweet. Because I don't want to fight there just because I don't think there's any river crossing. Uh, five prestige and money or... <laughs> 50 prestige, I guess we'll get the money for no reason. We have so much money that we are never going to be able to spend it. I have no idea what we're going to spend it on. Maybe just what we should spend it on is going over our force limit, I guess. I don't even understand. Like, look at how much cost... We're just paying 200 for mercenaries. Or, not even, 48 for mercenaries. And it's like, nobody cares. We're just going to back off a little bit here. Uh, Siege of Novgorod is over. Good. Uh, good. We lost another, oh, another siege. It's gone. Let's get Lagoda. So annoying. I, I guess we should do now is probably chase down the Russian army, but it's so far. Russia is so big. They're gonna they're gonna run all the way to the freaking like end of the iceberg or whatever. Ugh, so annoying. But hey, you know what? It's definitely, definitely, definitely worth it. Alright, I think they're gonna try to engage me here, so let's uh let's try to reinforce that one so that they don't get insta crushed. Alright. So look, they're coming for me. And they're coming for me here. So hopefully they'll get a river crossing or something, and I can just move in forces to uh, help. Alright. So as soon as they get there, we're gonna need to There we go. Pause it. Alright, now select this army. We're gonna need to put Force March on, apparently, because that's like the only way you can possibly get there in time. And they did not get a river crossing, I guess they have to come from that way. I guess it's, that's pretty dynamic how the game handles those things. It's pretty cool, I guess. Alright. And our sieges continue. I'm gonna send some sieges down. And then uh, we'll send one, we'll grab one from here. Just to go siege, make sure there's sieges going on, because I don't think we're doing enough right now. Uh, we won again, of course. Um, merge it up, split it up. We're going to go and attack with Francis. We're going to attack these men here. And we'll send in some more, but I guess we should drop sieges. Drop two sieges and give 57,000 more men. And yay, no river crossing. Right, we won again. So let's just grab this army here. This 50 to 78,000 men, and we're going to chase them down. How about that? Yeah, we're going to leave uh, Force March off, but... Ooh, there we go. That's it, guys. This is the end of the Russian army, apparently. They're all right there, so... Um, as long as we win this battle, we'll be fine. Now, if we win this battle, that's a big if, because... For some reason, we're stuck at the same morale. I don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. So let's drop, um, drop Siege. Put Force March on. And rush over there as quickly as possible. Now, I mean, I, of course, we outnumber them like a gazillion, jillion to one, but... Ah, oh, good, we won. Alright, so we'll just follow these Russians away. Where are they going? They're going to Veluga. Vet, 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 Vitakia, whatever. I have no idea how to pronounce these Russian provinces. I played a little bit as Muscovy one time by myself, and I was like... Quite, where do we have a revolt? Oh, God. It's like, where, where are the hostile sieges? Gabu. Oh, God. Gabu. Ooh, I'm always going to be regret taking those stupid provinces from them because of the stupid... Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to do. Um, can we get some mercenaries over here or something? No. We can't hire mercenaries in overseas provinces. That's dumb. What about building them? Let's build some units over here. Uh... 
One, two, three, four. And then we'll build one. Oh, we can't hire mercenaries. Duh. All right, six units. It's fine. We're gonna be a little bit over our limit, but hey, obviously we have so much money. That's not even a freaking matter, is it? Now this is a huge army we're gonna need to chase. Oh, they're right here. I don't know why it didn't tell me. Oh, I guess I didn't read it right. All right, now you guys go and help there. Come on, get there, get there. I know we're taking lots of attrition, but I don't even like, I just want to win. So let's move in. I think if we just find, ooh, are they going to run the other way? What idiots. All right, let's chase them down. Hopefully they don't just stop in vodka land or whatever that thing's called, Vladgusta. If they just stop there, I'm going to be like so sad because it's going to be hard for us to catch them there. Yes, they did. All right. So apparently we need to put on Force March or else we're never going to get there in time to uh, this one. Uh, we have no more big... F oh, we have a big army here. So we'll drop a siege, have them Force March in to help. Uh, Oh good, we, we, we pincer movement them. Half of them got squished, half of them are going to be routed. And they're going to be routed to the north, so let's just chase them down to the north. Good, we even got that Norwegian army. Norway, are you done yet? Are you done being, like, just raped? Yes, they are. Alright, Norway, you can go. Alright, now, uh... Oh, good, we actually finished the siege as well. Alright, good. Um, so we'll move these force march guys after them. Good. Alright, now, what's the Russian army look like? 38,000. Alright, that looks like a beautiful number to me, guys. The Russian army has been crushed. Now, if we just spread out and just eliminate any little guys as they pop up, we are bound to be victorious. Alright, stop. No more attrition, damn it. And no more... That's a, so much attrition, oh my god. And uh, no more that. Uh, Alright, I just dropped five sieges, so, uh... Or revolt where? In Franchi Comite. Oh, that's fine. They can... Do whatever the hell they want. Oh, Austria! Looks like they built up a little bit of an army. Hmm. I was wondering where all those, where all these numbers were coming from. <laughs> I wish Poland was still fighting. Damn it! Did they occupy that? No, they occupied Russia. Occupied that. Hmm. I wonder what it's. Now oh, we got call for peace. Not doing that. Uh, let's reduce our war exhaustion though. It's fine and boost our stability. There we go. That's where all our admin points went. And then we'll make a core in that zero place. All right. Well, let's just f f uh, finish off Russia, I guess. Now, I mean, I'm a. F oh, we're at 70%. Nice. All right, so if we just keep sieging. So let's send one here. Or actually, get rid of one. Send it here. Then get rid of one. Send it to there. And get rid of one. And send it to there. Get rid of one. Send it to there, and good. That should be all of the. Uh, that should be all the sieges. Um, and then we can send these fifty thousand men. Let's send these fifty thousand men to go deal with Austria, because I think that's the end of Russia. And I mean, we have twenty three thousand groups over here that can deal with the any more of Russia. All right, Tambov gone. We'll drop siege. Move in on these guys. They're moving in here, so. Uh, Let's see which one's gonna get there first, huh? Oh, there we go. Answered that question for me. Thank you. Good news. We got some fur. We won another battle in Borg 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 Smorgan. That's what I'm gonna call that. Uh, Fifty-five thousand men are moving. Good. Um, yeah, this twenty-five thousand army of Austria needs to die. <laughs> That's like their only remaining forces. I'm pretty sure. Denmark, are you? Have you had enough yet? No. Apparently, they have not had enough yet. Uh, their army has not been pinned on uh, on, uh, on Copenhagen long enough. Oh well. Will they actually take it, Russia? Sometimes they'll take it before. Oh, they will. All right, here we go, guys. This is it. This is the one we've been waiting for. Uh, oh, can we make them make us give us money? It's two. Yes. No. Oh, just a little bit less money. Okay, thank you. Uh, why am I asking for money? Whatever. I don't want to take the inflation. That's just going to make everything else more annoying. We can make them give back... Nothing. Alright, whatever. Send the demand. We're gonna claim their throne. Boom! 
Russia has accepted our personal... Oh my god, did we get the personal union with Russia? Ooh, that's nice. That's so nice that we got the personal union of Austria, too. Because, like... It, I mean, of course, it's annoying. However, even though, like, since they have the minus... Oh, that's gonna be so nice. We're gonna improve relation with them right away. Russia shouldn't be that much of, in hate of us. Oh, they actually do hate us all, quite a bit because of our aggressive expansion. But that's fine. As long as they don't break off, as in our king doesn't die anytime soon. Wow, our king is so, like, legit. He's got four personal unions going on. He's age 65. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's gonna die soon. Um, but this this new Wittelsbach, he's got a pretty good, uh, pretty good set of stuff. Um... So what happens when he dies? Does it say... Um, I mean, of course we could get our relations up pretty fast. To zero, at least, with them. Alright, well, whatever. We won. Doesn't matter. I still am so excited to have Russia as a PU. And uh, we shall return all of our forces to Ile France. Now, I seriously have no freaking clue what to do with all of this gosh darn... Oh crap! All of our forces are stuck. Ugh, so annoying. We're gonna have to get. We're gonna have to transport all of our ships, all of our forces back. That's so dumb. <laughs> it's gonna take like ten years to. Tr no wait, what the hell? Why can't we walk through Austria? Yeah, we can. What's the big deal? Yeah, walk back to there. Now then, you guys too. Oh, Poland. Can you give us military access, dude? Lorraine has entered the military coalition against us. Oh no, a military coalition against us. I wonder... Ah, that's going to be so scary. Poland, give me some damn military access. Oh, you feel threatened, Poland. I wonder why. So many people in this coalition now. It doesn't even matter, though, because whatever happens, we're just going to just rape them to death. 100 population. Ah, right, come on. Give me military access, damn you. Thank you. Alright, good. Uh, the only problem is now I don't think we're going to be gaining... Oh, we're getting still gaining three Diplo power. Okay, whatever. That's good. Oh, and Russia had a pretty big army coming along. Good. We didn't crush them too hard. There we go. Now we can all get back to the Ile de France, get rid of our mercenaries, and make a buttload of money for no reason. And since we're going to have a buttload of money for no reason, we might as well have a buttload more money for no reason and just build like a gazillion ships. I don't know. Maybe more infantry. I don't know. Just, we have a lot of money. Let's just colonize crap out of everything. I wonder how much money, how many, how much army we need to fight against the Aztecs and stuff. Uh, I don't know. All I know is this is kind of annoying colonizing over here, but because it's like islands and shit. But uh, so let's see. What's this military uh, navy option thing here? Less heavy ships than France. Have less heavy ships than how do I have less heavy ships than myself? If we disband one ship, will that do it? I don't even know. The third fleet up here is a little too big for my taste. Uh, let's put this. You guys go protect trade in Bordeaux. For some reason, give us more money. I don't know. Like, and then uh, you give me one of these Carex, and I will disband thee. And uh, does that work? Does it give us our mission? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So I guess we just have to cancel it because it's never going to happen. It's probably just an error anyways in the first place and I was just stupid to accept it. Alright, whatever. Lithuanian order, good. We got so much cash. I don't even know what to do with this cash. Like, because everything that I want to do with the cash spends other points and I don't want to spend any other points. Whatever. It's just... I guess we could just start giving the money away, but I, I don't even know what that would do. Like, what do we do? Uh, glorious France, maybe. We have managed to produce a very legitimate document to show we have a historical claim on their provinces. Uh, what does that mean? It just gives us ten percent. Okay. Uh, just random ten percent. Thank you. Alright. Well, that's the world, guys. Let's see. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Boom! Those are all our allies and personal unions. Dang, Russia. Why can't we see where you I want your vision, though. I wish it would give them 
that. They'll give us that. Oh well. Uh, money, money, money. What are we doing with this money? I guess we should expand more colonies, but I don't wanna. It's so boring. Uh, all right. Let's just continue here at five speed. Uh, we got one diplomat free, so let's uh let's send him to Russia and start improving relations. So we can get up to two hundred plus. We're already at fifty plus, but two hundred plus is just gonna be better. And we'll give him a gift. Let's send him a gift as well. Uh, let's get the uh, military tech car. Or no, we need diplo tech. We're really we're falling behind in that one. Let's give them. Wow, Russia, you're so expensive. God, this is where my money is going to be going apparently. All right, well, let's build some cool buildings then. Is there any building that doesn't give us more money? Like, is there something else possibly? Like, I guess armories and stuff is the only real. Thing we can build. What's the biggest version of an army? A regimental camp, apparently. This is gonna give us manpower. And then, no, not county house. Barracks, I guess we'll build those too. Might as well just have an insane amount of manpower to back up our insane amount of everything else. Then training fields, I guess we could put everywhere, but we're, we're gonna run out of military power before we run out of money. It's like we're never gonna run out of that much money. Oh well. Maybe we should just disband our fleet and uh, rebuild it from the ground up because we can. I think we can build early frigates now, or is, no? Attach. Uh, who cares? Do what you want. Wurzburg military access. Okay. Where's my army? Oh. Is all my armies back yet? Or are all my armies back yet? What are you doing here? Come on, get back there. I don't know why they just stand around for no reason. Morons. Military access from Switzerland, sure! Uh, I guess we could disband all of our mercenaries and just make more money for no reason. I, I miss the good old days when we could spend our money. It was like, maybe I should, maybe I could get more money somehow. I wish that I could. Now it's like, what do I do? Thank you, Chaos Angel, for all your amazing advice. Now I am too good at the game. It's like, what happens next? All right, we'll just have those guys spread out so that they don't cause too much attrition. All right, and then give me the mercenaries from here. Disband you, and uh, split you into two. Good. There we go, there's our super army, just now with no mercenaries in it. And uh, we got a colonist free, we got some Gabu. Oh, you you're successful, but we built all these guys. Damn it. Okay, well. We lost a claim on a province, okay? Uh, yep, Battle of Kaior. That's it. For that. Um, oh, we're almost done annexing the uh, the uh, uh, Croatia. How many more? How many years is it going to be till we can in integrate Russia? Till 1708. Okay, good. So then we'll definitely actually have enough time to um, to like you know actually integrate them and not just, you know, have them sitting there. Uh, once we get a shared dynasty here with Poland and annex them, that's just going to be, like, in insanely amount of stuff. Integration is a slow process. I guess we can get rid of, uh, oh, there's Cro Cro Croatia is now ours. Uh, let's disband these ships and stuff. Nope, we don't need that. Uh, I guess we should probably start converting their provinces, can we? Yes. And, uh, oh, we should probably sell these things that are giving us overextension, like we planned on. Um, diplomacy, sell you, province. No. Damn it, I hit it when it does that. So you can have this for free! We don't need any more money! Alright, now we need to wait like a million years for a diplomat to come back. All right, let's go up to where we can see our diplomats. There we go. All right. Okay. Uh, they want a royal marriage. Don't we already have one? No, we're not the same religious group. Right. Um, okay, so um, sell province. Yeah, there we go. Uh, have this one for free. So it's no sense in demanding money from you. Glorious monument. Okay. Uh, let's get our advisors to be the most expensive. Is there any other than... No. Plus three is the best. Can we get anything better than... Nope. Let's grab a uh, morale of armies plus three. 
so you can take up a little faster. All right, we got our regiments here that are merged now back again. Uh, there we go. They took the province from us. Um, good. Let's get these guys on the boats here, and uh, we'll move them to somewhere. Uh, now we can actually make sure that we have all of our stuff cored. Now, do we have those? Uh, where are those rebels at? Do we? Oh, good. We took them out. We're sieging it back. Okay, good. Um, what percentage are we? Minus 42? That's fine. Uh, uh, Alright, we need to probably start exploring the Americas a little more, but, you know, Russia is going to probably colonize That's the other side for us. I don't even know what, what we're going to do, guys. We, like, our vassals, we could just let the game go and just be like, oh, vassals do everything. <laughs> oh, well. And now we definitely dominate the Curia. Who's going to freaking steal the Curia now? The only other Catholic nation in the entire world is, like, Poland. Who's not under our thumb, like, completely. Jackals and vultures. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, that's kind of annoying, actually. Uh, I'll move our fleet away so I don't get them confused. Oh, God. All right. Get on the ships. We'll go eliminate these stupid guys in the gulf here. Oh, yes. More ducats. Thank you. All right, that's definitely what I wanted was more ducats. Uh, let's ex let's colonize more in Africa. You know, we could probably colonize the entire African coast if we want cause we, if we wanted to. Why not? So uh, I think what we should do is I mean I'm pretty happy with our colonies over here. I don't really know like what we're gonna do in the Philippines, honestly. Uh, maybe we should go attack Japan. I I have no idea what we're gonna be doing. So, um, yeah. Let's move into this area of the sea so we can grab some more. Jesus Christ. Uh, sure. And uh, you can never have too much money, I guess. Back on the ships, boys. We're going to uh, Africa. Actually, let's send them here. Because uh, we're going to colonize here, actually. And then we're going to colonize over here in Africa with uh, the forces that we're taking to fight on this island here. Okay, of course we won. Uh, damn them! Our morale is down by 5%. Like, it even matters because we have like 9 million, million, zillion troops. Alright. Now we're just going to go on a spread out spree and colonize everything here. All right. Hey, we're gonna go. How about the Grain Coast? Sure. How about there? We have four thousand ducats that we need to spend. We've gained a core province. Yay! Another core province. All right. Uh, how many natives are there even? Three thousand. All right. How about we break off two thousand to you guys, and we'll move on to another island. Oh, we should actually colonize down here, because I think you get a, something cool for having the Straits of Johor. If I look here, yeah, if we get the Straits of Johor, we'll uh, get this uh, trade income plus 20%. So, that would be cool. So we might want to do that too. Maybe we could send half the troops to Africa, half the troops to the other place, but... You know? Alright, so where are our other colonists? This guy here, uh, he's already still going. Alright, this guy's almost... he's doing stuff. Oh, he's not even here yet. Oh, no, this guy right here. Yeah, recall. We don't need you there. You can just come help us do stuff over here in Africa. There we go. Send you there. And all right, guys, this is going to be, be the end of this episode. It's been a little bit long, just like the last episode. But hey, you know what? What? Look at this, guys. We got Russia. For God's sake, we have Russia in our personal union. How are they liking us? They are loving us now. We got them a gift. We're improving our relations. Uh, Austria, they're not so happy with us, but hey, you know, once we get to 200 plus improved relations, give them some monies, they'll love us too. Eventually. Eventually, that's the key word, is eventually they will love us. Um, yeah, so uh, we still got this stupid army over here. Whatever, I don't care. And these stupid frigates, we can send them to hell. Now, honestly, all we got to worry about now, we could probably just destroy the Papal State, make them free something. Like, is there, is a, do they have anything over here that we could, well, we could vassalize maybe Milan or something and sell them their provinces back. Maybe, oh, Switzerland, do you want to vassalize? 
Yes, they would definitely vassalize if we just fought them for a second. It's too bad they hate us so much. It's really too bad. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. You're the best. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this episode, this series. I'm kind of curious as to what we're going to be doing in the rest of the series since we pretty much dominated, but um, I'm way, way, way open to suggestion now because I have out of pretty much out of ideas myself. Netherlands is going... Damn. How do the Netherlands like us? They they hate us? Well, they kind of do hate us for all these annexing of vassals. But that's okay. Because we love them, don't we? They love us for our, the return territory. We don't even have any improved relations with them. God. Wow. Damn, they love us so much. Oh, I'm, I'm going to stop fawning over my own uh, Europa Universalis thing right here. So you guys, you guys, I'm going to calm down. <laughs> okay. See you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Spring pray out.